How's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Candy right back into it with our Legends are Redacted, and I'm finally attacking something that got requested a lot. And I'm not really surprised it did, because it's a rather infamous character from, uh, Modern Warfare. We're gonna try Simon Riley, also known as Ghost, also known as the guys whose face we never see, but much like Boba Fett, is probably one of the most memorable characters right so without further ado, let's go ahead and break down the outfit piece by piece, shall we? Starting off with the fact we're not touching anything for the face, because it, it, it's ghost. Face. At all. No head protection with this outfit. For vests, however, the Eagle Industries chest rig is my primary recommendation. That said, I say primary. I'm going to offer you another one, because you get this sucker from the frickin' raid. Which, uh, now that they fix the DMR glitch, is suddenly less fun and harder and annoying. It does those that actually manage to slog through that and do it legitly, but <laughs> yeah, I'm a filthy casual and I admit that. A secondary would be the Ocelot chest rig, which eh, kind of works, but I think you also get this from the raid, regrettably, now that I think about it. Finally, moving on to the heavy gunner tack vest. I'm recommending these because in every screenshot for this particular hoodie outfit I keep seeing, it's not an actual plate carrier, it, it's more so just a rig it just it's literally there to hold mags and that's it moving on to the gloves the oakley si assault gloves now i threw these in multi-cam because i kind of like the two-tone effect it honestly has with it compared to just the flat colors i personally recommend it also the multi-cam looks a lot better than the actual woodland camo have in the game moving on to pants if you have the ghost coins cargo pants a with knee pads in multi-cam Failing that, honestly, just about anything that looks close enough will really sell the look. 5.11 Apex Pants, really good choice. Blackhawk Lightweight, though I think those are Ghost Coins as well. Those are just Cargo Pants. Pardon me as I go through this list. It's been a while since I've actually been through my... Hell, even the Cry G3 with the E-Pass could work. You see why I'm going here. Around the shoes, I... Went with the traction boots in brown, though honestly, really any boot in brown would work wonders. To try to really nail the look though, I personally recommend one of the Under Armors. The infill boots, the Fast Tack 8 boots, none of those are 511s, I'm dumb, my apologies. Ah, there we go. That's the one I'm thinking of. The Under Armour Velsets RTS boots in brown. For the headset, the Ops Core AMP headset in khaki. And of course for glasses, what else are we going to throw on but the down curve sunglasses? Granted with the Terminator Live event, we actually have actual sunglasses available to us. Though none of them quite fit the wraparound look we kind of want to go for. It's a crying shame because I love the Terminator look. No backpack with this outfit, and for top, we're going to go with Hoodie 1 in gray. For face mask, the Balaclava Sniper in black. I have Moon Balaclava, not bad. I'm personally not a fan of just how much of your forehead you see through it, though. That's why it's not my personal recommendation. And of course, be ready to swap that out, because who knows, down the line we might very well get Balaclavas again with skulls on them. God, here's hoping. That all said, that's it. While it may not be dead on accurate, I personally feel it's a nice enough foundation for when we do get more cosmetic items in Breakpoint, and Lord knows, with as much support as Wildlands got despite its rocky launch, I can definitely predict we're going to get a number of them down the line. Definitely something to build off of. As usual though, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, great way of showing that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course sharing it with your friends. And while I'm not taking requests on the Legends Redacted videos, I'm always open to suggestions. Like like this. This This was a highly requested suggestion that I do, and I, I finally did it. Good almighty. Ah. Insane also has a version of this that I actually might do for next week. That all said, once again, thank you all for watching. Now cheers to those who love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we'll see y'all in the next video.